The impacts from the pandemic can make the holidays tough for some families. We know that reality is many are still depending on charitable pantries for food. As Nicole Jacobs will show you, for families living in the so-called food deserts around our area, the need for help is even greater. At Crossroads Community Services in South Dallas, it's a common pandemic scene. Lines of cars being filled with food. I never go look for this help. It's my first time. And for many waiting, it's just that simple because the pandemic pains still ache. When the covers start, everything goes down. We're still 250% higher than we were in 2019. Crossroads president and CEO Benet Rogers says some families who depend on their services are at poverty level, but many are not. When we think about what's been happening, we're really dealing with the loss of stimulus, the loss of unemployment. And that amounts to a need that has not quite leveled off. In 2019, the pantry distributed 5.5 million pounds of food. Last year, 11.8 million pounds. And this year, the projection is on par with 11.1 million pounds. And for this area in particular, this food service is all the more important. When you think about South Dallas County, it's considered a food desert because the number of grocery stores in comparison to the population of people is significantly uh, diminished as you might see in other parts of our community. And for some, the only food source for this community is here. Bless the Lord that uh, he, this place is uh, uh, here so I can eat. In Dallas, Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.